Hi everyone, and thank you for coming back to my channel. My name is Adonis, and welcome. Make yourself at home. We've got a lot to unpack today. I've got my notes here. Um, and so, super excited to just be back uh, again, giving you guys some content that's gonna help you uh, in your career, in your personal life, and really hoping that I'm answering a need of our generation and generations after us and before us. Uh, but before we hop into any of that, I just wanna say thank you so much for coming back to my channel and, and watching this video. If you do like content like this, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up, as well as leave a comment down below with your suggestions. Let's have a full conversation. Uh, if you like this content, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification little bell, click the notification bell to get updates on when I post. Um, but most importantly, make sure that you are leaving comments so we can continue the conversation or if there's anything that I didn't cover or any topics that you want me to cover in the future, feel free to leave those down below as well. So one of the most challenging things that I found for myself because I like to think I'm very self-sufficient and that I know a lot more than I do um, is asking for help. Um, was one of the hardest things is raising your hand and admitting to a group of people or to someone that you don't know something. But I think the, that in order to grow and, and properly be um, an asset to whatever system or program or relationship that you're a part of is you have to understand the importance of just admitting ignorance uh, and admitting that you don't know something and, and, and talking about how to fill those gaps in order for you to be most efficient and most effective and in order for me to be most efficient and effective in my role and just so that we can continue to progress forward on a path that's actually knowledgeable rather than just pretending like we know something because faking it doesn't always make it. So making sure that we can unpack those things and be successful. The first thing that I have to do, and, and with my current job, I take on a lot of different hats and roles. And so I'm taking on a whole separate part of recruiting as well as taking on some responsibility with inclusion and diversity and, and walking in some of those lanes. And so for me, I have no idea what's going on. And so the first thing I had to do was acknowledge a weakness, acknowledge the gap. So I had to sit down and do an internal analysis to understand, okay, I don't necessarily know how to recruit for production or to recruit for engineers, or I've never worked specifically within the inclusion and diversity space. So I don't know how to do that. So I had to understand that there was a weakness there and there was a lack. That doesn't make me less than, or that doesn't make me um, inadequate, but that does make me have a gap between the requirement of knowledge for the role and what I do know. So acknowledging the gap, acknowledging that there's a weakness, taking that and owning that, owning that, there's like not a problem with that. There's always a stigma with people admitting ignorance or feeling like that's gonna change people's perception of me. I would prefer you to admit ignorance to me rather than you faking it, and then we get to an actual point of implementation and you have no idea what's going on. And can I get an amen in the back? Can I get an amen? Because being mediocre only works for a certain demographic. Once you've acknowledged that weakness, again, like I said, you gotta accept it. And you gotta say, okay, I own this, and I am prepared to adequately assess where I am and where the gaps are. Super simple. Take accountability and own your process. So what that means is you are accountable for the impact that you leave other people with or the impression that you leave other people with. You are responsible and accountable to make sure that what information that you're giving or what you're doing is to the best that it can be done and is as accurate as possible. And so one thing that keeps me in line is I'm accountable to the people that are expecting me to give them correct information. I am accountable to the process. I am This is a part of something that I need to own. And so when you start looking at it from an ownership perspective and the experience that you're leaving other people with, because my main thing, you can talk to anybody that I'm around, my main thing is making sure that people have the best experience they can. And also, when you're talking about the company or you're talking about me, leaving me with an experience that made them feel good about themselves or made them feel like they were heard, validated. Um, and so that's super important to me and that's super valuable to me. And so acknowledging and being accountable for the experiences that you leave other people with 
is what's gonna then drive you to raise your hand when you don't know something or drive you to ask the questions that are gonna give you the adequate insight or just pushing you towards a growth metric or a growth opportunity that's gonna push you outside of what you think you know and your own personal lived experiences and will put you in the driver's seat of experiences that are gonna grow your impact as you move forward within the organization or the relationship or whatever. And once you understand the impact to the community and the nature around you, that's gonna funnel right back into ownership. So for me, I understand that the change I'm trying to implement within inclusion and diversity does not just impact me and my story, but it impacts everybody that I hire it impacts everybody that I am their HR liaison for, and it impacts everybody that I am um, representing in the conversation. You then start seeing it as less of a weakness and actually more of a strength. And so learning how to use that tactic to switch things that are historically seen as negative as it relates to your own personal, personal growth and finding that positive. That leads me to the next point in, uh, being intentional and insightful, ask the right questions to the right people. If I'm lost and my partner is lost, I'm not going to ask my partner how to get me to the destination. Why? Because they're with me. They're lost with me. But what I am going to seek out is somebody who is skilled in that field, somebody who has experience in that field, and somebody who's available to give me the insight and resources that I need to be successful. And so it's being very intentional to ask the right people the right questions and not using asking the wrong people the wrong questions as a crutch for you to never ask questions again because they sent you to a wrong direction. I'll reverse that and say that one more time. Asking the wrong person the wrong question and then you getting a negative experience from that is not a crutch for you to never raise your hand and ask another question. With everything that you do, with everything that you are, whether it be in a collegiate structure, whether it be in a corporate structure, whether it be just in your personal life, whether you're raising children, ask the important questions to the right people. Reaching out and asking the important questions, what it is that you like, how do you communicate, X, Y, and Z, how do I leave you with a solid experience that then also helps me propel and grow uh, and move forward in my process of um, actualization? And I think that's super important and something that we need to destigmatize, but not just stopping there and owning that, but seeking the important questions from the right people. These are things that I'm working through daily in my career. And this was just a piece that was on my mind to kind of walk you through the process of just asking for help and being a resource then in the process being a more efficient and effective resource to then better the experience that people have for you and being more efficient and effective. So guys, that is the end of the video. That's just a little bit of a piece of my mind that I wanted to share with you. If again, you like this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe, turn on the notification bell to see when I post content. Again, sound off below. I wanna have a conversation surrounding this uh, and I will plan to chat with you guys soon. Um, have a great day. Thank you for all that you do. I love you. You are important. You are valuable. Stay on the pipeline of progress and growth and we will all be great. So, gotta go play with the dog.